Go. Recent statistics have shown that sugar and caffeine can be harmful to your body if consumed in large amounts. We decided to ask variable, knowledgeable professionals, and we wanted to prove this by conducting a simple experiment. Cola versus coffee. What do you think contains more sugar, a can of Coke or a small Starbucks drink? I think a small Starbucks drink. <laughs> small, can, small can of Coke. I think a small Starbucks drink. A can of Coke. Drink. A can of Coke. A can of Coke. A small Starbucks drink. Drink. A small Starbucks drink. A small Starbucks drink. Um, probably a can of Coke because it's, it's basically pure sugar. So, as a PE teacher, what do you think about the effects of sugar on your health? Sugar on health. Um, I suppose sugar at the moment is getting a lot of negative press, uh, mainly from things like dental hygiene. Uh, high sugar concentrated drinks have a very, very bad impact on your teeth. But I suppose in terms of sporting performance, um, sugar gives you a little bit of an energy buzz, but it's very much short lived. Um, high quantities of sugar, although they give you an instant hit of energy, they often make you feel very fatigued and tired shortly after. They can also promote dehydration in your sports as well, which will maybe lead to some incorrect decisions in your gameplay or you feeling a little bit more tired later on in the game. So sugar is okay in small quantities, it's okay to get a little bit of a boost, um, natural sugars particularly. Things like the old fashioned technique of using little cut up oranges for half time to have are actually really good because they're a natural source of sugar. But for more kind of processed sources of sugar, for very popular Haribo star mixes, for example, um, very, very much in a small quantities. Um, otherwise, you just end up feeling too tired or lethargic after eating them. Okay. So, do you think it's completely negative on long term performances? Um, long term performances, uh, probably. No, it's mainly with sugar, it's a, it's a short term issue. However, I suppose if you are having regular sugar in your diet, um, that can promote weight gain. And as a result, that might lead to a compromise in your fitness. So everything generally is in moderation. Any good diet won't exclude a particular food group. It's everything in moderation. And a little hit of sugar can be a good little motivational boost or a treat, and that's absolutely fine. It can be good motivation for you. Um, but in terms of it being a regular part of your diet over a long term basis, it normally does lead to weight gain and it can lead to um, some quite severe other illnesses as well. But only if it's in like severely high quantities, only if you're drinking like two litres of Coca Cola a day and like three bags of sweets a day, then obviously it's going to have some quite negative health impacts. Um, so, first of all, how do you think sugar affects the body? Well, I think sugar is very important for the body because it's the source of energy uh, for everything that our body does. Okay. Um, do you think there are any negative effects of sugar? Well, like I say, sugar is a source of energy and in our body. We're taking sugar in and uh, we're using sugar for energy. So if we're taking in more sugar than uh, we're using, than, as energy than we're using, uh, that could lead to problems. Okay. Um, how do you think caffeine affects the body? Well, caffeine's a stimulant, uh, so it can sort of, um, can I say this, it can sort of, uh, well, stimulate uh, your metabolism and processes within the body. Okay, um, how much sugar do you think is the maximum amount we should have? Well, I think it depends on the amount of activity that you're doing, and um, there are guidelines that are given out for different amounts of calories for people of different ages and it depends on lots of different factors. Okay, um, one last question. Like, do you have sugary drinks or caffeine or do you have decaffeinated? I do have sugary drinks and I do have caffeine, but I think like many people, I drink too many sugary oh, okay. drinks and I think I drink too much coffee. Okay, thank you. Out of the 25 volunteers we asked, 19 <laughs> believe that a can of cola contains more sugar than a Starbucks drink. But is this really true?